guys what's up welcome back if you're new to my channel my name is Jen and welcome to my channel today I'm doing this very neutral very simple makeup look using my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette this look here is very appropriate for like work or school or um, as me as for me as for me I'm going to a business meeting this evening so I wanted to keep my makeup pretty natural and simple Nothing too dramatic, but yet elegant and pretty. So I wanted to, you know, keep it on the more appropriate side. So if you want to see how I created this look, this is going to be a more chatty tutorial. The last few that I've done have been um, ran over with music. So I wanted to just, you know, talk you through it this time, step by step, just because it's hard for me to do that when I just throw music on top of a video. All the products that I used are always listed in the description box, so make sure you check below. And yeah, if you enjoy it, please do thumbs it up. Don't forget to subscribe, and let's go on into the tutorial. Bye. Okay, that was weird, but yeah, let's go. I'm going to start off with the face. So I'm going to take my Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer. Looks like this like that it's slightly shimmery but I love it um, I'm gonna take this on my um, oh gosh what is this essential tools high definition um, angled bronzing brush and this is like a holy grail in my makeup routine so we're gonna start with that um, and like I mentioned earlier all the products um, that I used to prepare my face um, are listed down below in the description box. So my foundation, primer, um, highlight, not highlight, concealer, brows, all that. So I'm going to start with this and just warm up the skin a tiny bit. So like that. I love this stuff. It is bomb diggity. Bomb diggity do, right cook? So I'm just going to take this on my cheekbones and um, around my hairline, temples, jaw, and slightly on my nose. And I just take a little bit on my nose, just on the sides, like that. Stickle my nose. And then I take some on my jawline, like that. And then just blend the rest of it down my neck. I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And this is in the shade Chocolate. And if you've never um, seen this product, you need to at least go smell it. Stop by Sephora, Ulta, and go smell it. It's made with real cocoa powder. So it smells like a candy bar. It smells like hot chocolate, honestly. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that and just go over the same places that I applied my um, bronzer. So I'm basically just defining it a little bit more. I'm going to use my NYX blush in the shade Mocha. So it looks like this. Really, really pretty for fall. Um, I don't know why they call this Mocha. It's like a deep, like, very mauve shade and I'm taking this on my Real Techniques um, blush brush another one of my Holy Grail brushes um, so looking like that and I'm just gonna take this on the apples of my cheeks and blend it backwards I'm gonna use my Becca um, shimmering skin perfector in opal so I just have like the little travel size. Um, so it looks like that. It's really pretty. And I'm going to take this on my Luxie 522 tapered highlighting brush. Looks like that. And I'm going to run this on the tops of my cheekbones. Um, down the center of my face. And I just go like that. Put a little bit on my cupid's bow. 
today's look, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I like this. Um, it's more of a cool toned um, palette. Looks like this. I love it a lot. I highlight my brow bone. I'm going to take this Mica Beauty Cosmetics. This is like an angled um, eyeshadow brush. I got this for Christmas um, last year. And I'm going to take the shade um, Foxy. This, Sorry, I'm not trying to blind you. This first shade right here. I'm going to take Foxy and apply this on my brow bone. I like this because it's matte. going to take Foxy with a um, fluffy brush. This is the MAC 224 and I'm going to dust this all over my entire lid um, so when I apply the rest of my shadows um, they'll blend a lot smoother. You can also use your face powder for this step. I'm going to take this is my MAC 286 brush and I'm going to take the shade Tease which is this matte um, medium brown shade right here. I'm going to take T's and pop this in my crease. Starting at the outer corner and then just windshield wipers all over from inner to outer corner. This is going to give the eye some depth as well as provide a transition for the rest of the colors or the rest of the shadows I should say. Take my MAC 27, what did I just touch? I'm going to take my MAC 217 brush and I'm going to blend out the edges the best I can. So just using the tip of the brush I know when I edit the video, it looks like I blended it out within like 10 seconds, but honestly, if I did this in real time, we'd be sitting here like five minutes per eye. Um, I really like to take my time and blend out, uh, especially in the crease. So just take your time and don't rush this step because you don't want any harsh lines. So... Just take your time. I have eyes. I tend to bring my shadows up a bit higher. So in my crease, I bring my shadows above my crease. On my lid, I bring my shadows up to the crease. Um, just because I have to. Uh, because with hooded eyes, when your eyes are open, you won't see the makeup at all if you just apply it like where it's Point technically to take. supposed to be. What is this? This is the BH Cosmetics Flat Shader Brush. And I think I'm going to go in with, I didn't even think this looked through. Um, I think I'm going to go in with um, YDK. It's one of my favorite shadows in this palette. It's this one right here. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid. So just taking it on the flat brush. And this powder, or this powder, this shadow has a lot of fallout. So make sure you tap off the excess, and when I say that I mean like tap your brush on something and pat it on your eye. Don't swipe it and like rub it everywhere or you're going to end up with eyeshadow all over the place. So just gently pat it on your eyelid. You can even use your finger for this step. Especially since we've already applied our face makeup, we don't want to end up with shadow all over the place. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to use my finger just to intensify um, the shadow a little bit. So using my finger, I'm just going to take it and press this shadow onto my eyelid. And I'm going to go back into my 217 and blend out the edges. I'm going to take this is my what is this? This is my MUA 315 crease brush. It's a really really tiny 
um, crease brush and I'm going to take the shade Busted, which is this shade right here. And although it is a shimmery um, shade, it's not glittery, but it is shimmery. <clears throat> so I'm just going to be very careful with it. Tap off my excess and I'm just going to run this right here on the outer corner of my eye. Very, very lightly. And if you notice, I'm holding my brush like right at the very tip of it, the tip of the handle, um, because that way I'm applying the least pressure compared to if I held it like in the middle or closer to the front. Um, so hold it at the tip and just lightly um, feather that onto the outer corner. And again, just do a little bit at a time. I'm going to blend that out just a tiny bit. Uh, like eyeshadow fall on the tip of my um, not on the tip but like on the bottom of my eye so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap up this tape and just put it on the tip of my finger and I'm gonna use it to uh, I'm gonna use it to pick up some of that glitter fallout this is my elf um, eye crease brush and it's a really 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 tiny domed shape crease brush. I'm going to go back into Tease which is the transition color that we use and I'm going to blend this on my lower lash line. For the inner corner I'm going to take this tapered really small like I don't know what to call this like a really tiny tapered eyeshadow brush it's flat by BH Cosmetics looks like this and I'm actually going to take my highlighter from Becca and I'm going to use this for the inner corner of my eye I'm going to go back into um, this Mica Beauty I'm going to take a tiny bit of Booty Call it's this shimmery shade right here the third one in and I'm going to take a tiny bit and apply it just on the high points of my brow. Like right underneath the arch. Just a tiny bit. And if you feel like you've applied too much, you can always go back in with the Foxy shade. Alright, keep. let's keep going. I'm going to apply some of this, um, what is this? The Maybelline Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil looks like this. It's a really, really tiny um, little thing here. I love, love, love this. It lasts all day long. It stays put. Super awesome product. Take a tiny, tiny bit of this and just run it on the lower lash line like a third of the way in like just a tiny I'm not really rubbing it I'm like tapping it and then I'm going to use my finger to blend blend that line I'm out. going to apply um, where's it at this is by Lancome this is the Sills Booster XL it looks like this I just have the travel size I've got like three of these um, I'm going to apply this on my on my lower lash line not so much on the top, but just on the lower. And this is going to help um, elongate my lower lashes. Who it is? It's the Cookie Monster. Say hello to everyone. Look right there. Say hello to everybody. Say hi, everybody. Hi. The cookie monster, the troublemaker. Stop, she's trying to lick my face. The troublemaker. Ooh, tell everybody you got a bath and you are not happy. Say, I do not like to smell like pink lemonade. I like to smell like dirt and sweat. Huh? Is that what you like to do? Stop 
cookie. Come, come here. Bottom lash line, I'm going to start with, um, this is the Maybelline, the Colossal Spider Effect Mascara. Looks like that. Um, after I get enough of this on my lower lash lines, I'm then going to comb it out with the Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Looks like this. This stuff really packs a punch. You have to be very, very careful with this mascara because it could go crazy real quick. If my lashes get a little too clumpy, I like to take a metal brush comb, brush comb, lash comb. Um, this is uh, my travel one from Sonia Kashik. So it's just a metal comb. Looks like that. Um, I have a, I have a couple of these. This is just um, the Sonia Kashik one. It's really good. And I like to take it and run this through my lashes to take out all the clumps and separate my lashes. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same steps on my upper lashes. that I got that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and take my Tawny Lip Liner by Jordana. I'm going to line my lips really quick. Okay, now that I have my <sighs> lips lined, I'm going to go ahead and take my, I'm going to wear gloss today. I was going to do lipstick, but I decided on a gloss. This is by Urban Decay. This is the Lip Junkie. It says Cools and Plumps. Mine's in the shade Naked. I got this with my Naked palette, I believe. Um... But it has this really nice cooling, tingly effect. I really, really like it. And I like the color as well. So it just squeezes out. You can use a lip brush, but I just put it on my lips like so. Okay, so that's going to be it. This completes the look. I hope you all enjoyed it. <clears throat> if you do decide to recreate it, make sure you tag me um, like on Instagram or whatever. Um, if you're a YouTuber, you can always comment um, in my video and let me know that you filmed it so that I can go and check your video out. And I, like I said, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thumbs it up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Come back for more videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Mwah.